Okay, from the main menu, uh, here's the selections here. You can battle, training, player profile, or options. Actually, I think I got the... Turn the music on. So if you go to training, the training games, that's all the mini game, the four mini games. Uh, and this comes with two mini games loaded on it. And then you, I believe you hook up and download the other two. And then solo training is where you do battles uh, versus uh, like a computer opponent, supposedly, you know. And that's also where if you buy the solo cartridges, uh, those will be inserted into the top and then you go here to play those. But it comes with one preloaded where you battle against Lucas. So we'll show you that real quick. So you can do a new game or load the game. And you can also view how many jolts you have. So we'll load my game. I'm all... You just move around from piece to piece. And it'll take you into a battle. I'm on the very last one. So you go here. And then here's... It's a challenge. This is the end one. 750 swarm value you get to use. And you have to win three times to pass this one. So here's where you select your nanovore. Unfortunately, um, you're not able to sync these up online yet until October 1st. So it only comes with these three nanovore. So you just hit the button to select the ones you want to bring. And then you select who you want to be in first. Now you pick an attack at the top. It shows you have two energy. And then... Uh, Underneath it shows the attack, how much energy it does, what it does, and the damage it does. You just scroll along and the attacks change. You know, or you can pass your turn. So we'll do the Berserk for 1 energy and 40 damage. And then do you want to just attack, or do you want to attack and swap in somebody else? So we'll attack and swap. And now you pick who you want to swap in. And it's just like the game online. So this is a quick sampling of, of uh, the battle, how it works. Thing to note, once you pick your attack, there's no way to go back and change your attack. So that's one thing to note when you're playing. And then also, there's no way of checking your opponent uh, once it's on your screen. There's no way of seeing how much health points he has left or anything like that. So you just got to kind of remember so you know what kind of attack you need to do. Alright, so that's it. That's a basic, uh, basically it for the solo battling and then and how the battle looks.